one thing about this building, I think it had a genuine heartbeat on campus. There was a vibe here. But the wheels of change roll on. After 40 years, the McKinnon bleachers taken down one last time after Canada West basketball. It ended on Valentine's Day 2015. But it was a night to celebrate. Hundreds of varsity from across four decades enjoyed a nostalgic night. With Vikes Athletics honoring student athletes who have been part of 40 years of UVic sports history. We have a free piece of the original McKinnon Gym floor. And we will be asking all alumni to follow up and sign the floor that Ken and Kathy and Gary Taylor have already signed. Of course, the night was about memories. Kind of a hands on homecoming. Robbie Paris was the starting point guard in the first men's game ever played in McKinnon. It was amazing because you come from this old airplane hangar and now you're playing in this brand new state-of-the-art facility, state-of-the-art at the time. Ken Shields arrived three years later in 1978 and so did his intensity. So now our pickup games and our scrimmages took on a real importance in our, and the compete level went way up. Sudbury's Eli Pasquale arrived in 1979. Eli was elite on court. The teammates helped him out of his shell away from basketball. I think I came here as a pretty shy person. And for whatever reason, this whole experience has helped me become a very outgoing type of person. Meanwhile, Shields coached with exacting detail and exhaustive preparation. I can still remember, you know, at night sleeping and thinking, okay, it's going from uh, Greg over to Pasquale, over to Ted Anderson, inside to Heber, and inside to Dushar and Vike score. The result, teams coached by Ken and Kathy Shields won 15 of the University of Victoria's 47 CIS championships. It was a special time. It was unique. It was, uh, it was, it was rare, and there's some great folks that have come through here.